I wasn't sure about this video at first since I'm not a huge Uma Musume fan, but after doing some research I actually appreciate the show a lot more. The first part of this video will be showing the things that most impressed me, the references to real life races that are in the show. It's something super clever but I completely missed it watching casually so I'd quite like to share it with everybody else. I think this information will actually help you understand the show better, unlike my previous anime and real life videos where the information was mostly supplementary. Later on in this video I'll also include an introduction to the history of Japanese horse racing. That part doesn't really have anything to do with the show, but it's interesting to me so I want to cover it. I will also not be covering the real life horses that the characters of Uma Musume are based on. There are already a number of good videos on that topic. Every race shown in Uma Musume is an actual Japanese horse race. These are organized by the JRA, the Japanese Racing Association, a public company founded in 1954 that oversees many aspects of horse racing in Japan. One thing that's a little unclear in the anime if you're not paying too much attention is what races are important. The answer is the real life rating system for races that also appears in the anime. Flat races, which are races on a track with no obstacles to jump over, and therefore all the races shown in the anime, are graded into grades 1, 2, and 3. Grade 1 races are the pinnacle of the sport, and will determine champions and also which horses will be sought after for breeding. Grade 2 and 3 races then are considered stepping stones towards the higher grades. To give one example, one great achievement that is mentioned early on in the show is the Japanese Triple Crown. In real life, it's only been seen 7 times in some 80 years of horse racing. It involves winning 3 Grade 1 races, the Sasuke Show, the Tokyo Yushun, also called the Japan Derby, and the Kikuka Show. The word show, which appears in the name of many of these races, translates to prize or award, not race. The most prestigious single race, of course, is then the Japan Cup, which takes place near the end of each year. Now I'm going to go through 7 episodes of the anime and explain the races that are shown. There's no spoilers about the results or anything, I'm just going to say what races are held. Just about every race in the anime is named, but if you either aren't looking out for it or don't really know what it means, it's very easy to overlook. In episode 2, Special Week competes in a race that I don't think is actually given a name. It takes place at the Hunshin race course. Here you can see a picture of the grandstand as it appears in the anime and a photo of it in real life from the side. In episode 3, she runs the Yayoi Show, a G2 trial for the Tsatsuki Show, which she then competes in later on in the episode. Both in the anime and in real life, they take place at the Nakayama race course, though in reality they take place months apart from each other. This episode includes the first detail that I think is really neat. It seemed random to me when I was first watching whether the horse girls were wearing their normal athletic sweats to compete or their fancy costumes. Well, the simple answer is just that they wear costumes for the G1 races and sweats for all other races. Compare Special Week's outfit in the Yayoi show and the Satsuki show. This, incidentally, is also a good way to tell if a race is very high stakes. If they're dressed up well, then it's a fairly important race. In episode 5, they show the Japan Derby, as they call it in the show, it's also called the Tokyo Yunshun, and it's a leg of the aforementioned Japanese Triple Crown. It's held at Tokyo Racecourse. You might have already noticed by now the other detail that really impressed me. Just watching the show, I thought that each race took place at some racing course next to the school, but actually they have to travel to each race course that the race they're showing takes place in. It's a bit obfuscated because there aren't any travel sequences in the show, but you can notice that indeed the grandstand shown at the Tokyo race course is different from the one shown during the episode 3 race at the Nakayama race course and also different from the one shown during episode 2. In episode 6 we have the Mainichi Okan, a G2 race that's also a Tokyo race course. Finally, the last race I'll mention specifically is in episode 7, the Tenno Show, a G1 race which is the Emperor's Prize. On the left of the banner here you can see the name of the race. On the golden fan at the bottom, the kanji Aki appears for autumn. This is because the Tenno Show is actually held twice a year, the other time being in spring at a different race course. It also so happens that the Tenno Show along with the Arima Kinen and Japan Cup make up what's called the Autumn Triple Crown of Japanese horse racing. Hopefully this helps you understand and will in the future help you notice the differences between the races that will be shown. I imagine in the second half of the anime there will only be G1 races since generally the stakes will be higher later on in an anime. Next is the brief section on the history of Japanese horse racing. As with many things about modern Japan, this story begins in Yokohama, today Japan's second largest city by population and the capital of Kanagawa Prefecture. It was a small fishing village until 1859 when the port of Yokohama opened according to the demands of the naval expedition sent by the United States to compel Japan, with force if necessary, to accept American trade. 
Over time, many foreigners from the United States and various European countries came to settle in the city, which made it a hub for Western influences in the country. In 1866, the Nagishi Racecourse was constructed in Yokohama. Although in the modern day it's no longer operating, it was the first permanent racecourse in Japan at its time. Although originally it was mostly for immigrants, including the British immigrants that founded it, horse racing quickly became popular with the rest of Japanese society as well. Through the end of the 19th century, Western-style horse racing spread through the metropolitan areas of Japan, and in 1923, legislation passed that established racing clubs and legalized gambling on horse races all throughout Japan. This was the beginning of modern horse racing like we would see today. The sport continued to grow in competition and spectatorship, and though races were suspended at the end of World War II, national racing was resumed and re-established with the 1954 creation of the Japanese Racing Association, the national body overseeing horse racing in the country to this day. Today, Japan is the largest horse race betting market in the world and a serious force in the breeding of racehorses. That concludes the information I wanted to present in this video. There's some stuff I cut out such as a glossary of terms related to horse racing, but since it's readily available online and there's no discussion of age, sex, or breeding in the show, I decided to leave it out to keep things concise. However, there's a lot more to read in regards to topics like contemporary Japanese horse breeding, international horse racing, and so forth. If you're still interested, one resource that was really useful for me was the Japanese Racing Association's English language website at japanracing.jp. There's also updated videos of Japanese horse races that are readily available on YouTube in both English and Japanese. If you find that this is something that you're into or maybe curious about, take a look and see if it's something that you think you could come to really enjoy. Thank you.